Alright, we have Osteria after coming off an opt out where we chose not to play. Um, I'm going to make a deck while doing that. I'll explain that because everyone was worried about everyone leaving Guild of Thrones last week. It's just so that we could opt out of uh, a match. And the reason why we're opting out is because we're in this cycle where we would play Big Bad Wolves and we'd lose and we'd drop down to like maybe five or six, I'd say, because um, we only lose like in the 300s. And then the next week, uh, you would see S and M art playing Big Bad Wolves. They'd lose by like 2,300. Um, and they go down to like high teens, 18 or something like that. And what it resulted in is SM art not being able to get back to like that bottleneck on top quick enough. Uh, so we never played them. Uh, by the time they, they were able to get back up to the top, uh, we would actually uh, already be playing Big Bad Wolves again. So it would result in us playing Big Bad Wolves and then uh, them playing it the next week. The same thing over and over. We haven't played them for like 35 weeks or something when it was one of their other mergers. Super, super Mart or some shit like that. Um, so we opted out in hopes that we could break that cycle. Uh, because otherwise we would actually just have to hope that they do better in Siege. Um, and it's been 35 weeks, they haven't done good enough yet. I mean, they lost Hound of Hades. The one time when we beat Big Bad Wolves, if they could have beat Hounds of Hades, we would have played them, but they lost Hounds of Hades. Um, so hopefully this works. Uh, the bad part, we're down to 30. We'll be 15 next week. Uh, we'll be like, I don't know, number eight after that. And the only way we play SM art then is if they do well versus Big Bad Wolves. So I don't think we will, but we still might be able to break the cycle eventually. We'll see. So, <clears throat> playing Addicted, uh, what I like to do here. Typically is go for slot one or slot two six, but with the Leela, that's a that's gonna counter my six really hard, so I'm gonna bypass it. Oh, it's actually not Space Honey. Um, I was thinking they'd play Space Honey there, which they didn't. But nonetheless, this will be fine. We're just gonna break through slot three, which is the whole goal with the Sig Addicts. And we will beat them this low. Take it again. So I don't know what they're looking to do in slot one, but I'm going to go ahead and find out. So we're going to end up having a Sidatics fight. I have the stronger one, and I have the better, like a Sid Agnix PC is not very helpful to that combo fight. So I'll win the combo fight. It'll be 2-0. Oh. <clears throat> Alright. Now we're going to go ahead and change Islands to King of the Hill. I do have that Mythic Lois in there, but fuck it, I'll keep it. I'm too lazy. So they're going to play some P-Bill on me, but I feel that I can handle that. I don't know why I played Monkey. I should have played Hypnotoad, but it'll be fine. Wow. One HP, look at that. <clears throat> but it's going to go ahead and leech back up. Do another King of the Hill. Uh, 
right, similar situation. We're just going to outrun them in slot one. Um, I kept the off BGE PCs in because King of the Hill is very much um, about winning with a combo. The PCs don't matter. The BGE, they don't need to survive. They just need to help out the combo. It's exactly what it did. Uh, we'll hit one more here since it's the largest island. <clears throat> Similar situation. We hit the slot one combo. Periodically, I'll do a slot two. Typically want to do a slot one or two because you need to get that going. And if they do a craze back on you or something, uh, it's best that, that you start early. So now we'll move over to armed or Bob's Burgers. Clear this. I think we'll go for Bob's Burgers first. Let's see what we got here. Anything BB? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll go with nine. So what I'm going to do here is throw in Gene and Bob. I'm going to go mostly Bob for Trap Bob. Oh, did this not make Trap Bob? Ah. Uh, Okay. And we'll throw two jeans in there. Gaga. We'll come back here. Take that out. Put that in. Then. So we got some options on the PCs. Uh, I can go aggressive with it if I wanted to. Um, or I can just stuff some slots. Uh, I'm going to go with the slot stuffing. Move this to a bob lead. All right, so I'm going to go with a little bit more aggressive in multiple slots hitter right there. I should take care of the OMM. We'll do a trap here in case they OMM it. And there you go. Trap's too strong. That shit's done. So I did Goggle Ball slot one just in case they comboed slot two with the OMM because I might need some help from that punch if it gets going too quickly. That's the whole idea there. Uh, so we'll start with the item. So it looks like we have a Chunky Blast off deck. I'm going to run forward at this point. I'm going to play the gene first because it has a little bit, a little bit of hijack, but actually I don't think it hijacked because the motivate was already in, so that's fine. We'll play the item on the outside so I could combo it if necessary. And it looks like we're going to win here in slot one, so I'll just stuff this slot, get the slot one through. That's a lot closer match. One more here, then we'll finish off on armed. Uh, 
We'll just punch her out. All good. Ushka. Okay, let's go make a quick armed deck. It's probably one I'm least prepared for. Ricky CM3. Eh. Meh. Amy's always good. I do have Zap. Okay, so I'm gonna end up pretty heavy on the Zap here. Okay, one. Yikes. Let's see what these guys got. Alrighty, so got to mean zap. I'll do one, two, three of these. Still got All right. That works. Um, do you believe? These guys, all right. Oh, that works. So one, two, three, and I'll come back out. Just real quick here. Want to check these nannies? Fingers at 76 and sucks. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, boom. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to use Amy in there. Teddy in there, and Zap in there. I'm going to slam them with Zaps. And you know what? There's no CM. Yeah, I'll stick with Zap. I'm just going to Zap their face off. We're just going to be in a holding pattern. I'm going to do this with cognacs uh, so it can help the zaps break through and it can protect them from any whale hunter bombs. We will move over to a little bit extra protection. So we're basically just going to pop in the zap and try to win that way. 
and stuff the other slots. Which is exactly what we do. Boom. Uh, if that would have comboed early with the Stewie, I would have just moved on to the next slot. Because you do not want to put a zap in front of a Stewie. You'll just get hijacked and killed. So looking at that Stewie right away, I'm going to prepare to move on to the next slot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I should play Zap first in case I got a better item. So it's all good. Now we're just going to back up this Zap. And we're just going to keep on blocking that and pumping up the Zap. Block that slot one. It can keep dying. It doesn't matter. And we keep pumping up the Zap. And hopefully we win before they kill us, which I don't actually think we're going to. Uh, we need an extra 13 damage on that. And they're going to kill us in slot one. So it was close. Lost that last one. Just barely. Um, I wish I had the CM on that knife fight, but I don't. Armed is not my best. So there you go. Nine and one. Uh, looks like these guys are going for Addicted and King of the Hill. Good score so far.